Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again and this time we are gonna jump in as Viking I guess would be pretty fun. Um, let's see what the skin differences we've got. So we're starting out with me, which is pretty interesting. Complete a level with the max amount of armor possible, okay? And kill 16 enemies in one armor strike. Okay, and as this character, let's actually see what we do as this character. Reduce maximum HP, portals give armor, two armor maximum, serpent armor strike for our right click. Interesting, let's just see how this goes. Uh, serpent armor strike. Oh my lord. Okay, so that costs us armor. But uh, I wonder what the maximum amount of armor is then. Because we start with two and it said maximum is two. But surely you're not going to get the um, the skin for just having two armor, right? That seems insane. <laughs> That's so cool. I love this weapon. But yeah, the melee seems real good. And yeah, that blood strike seems uh, pretty crazy. I'm liking starting with melee though, that's always fun. Always a good time. And it seems to do, like, yeah, it seems to do three lots of damage with the melee. It's a very, very slow firing melee, I will say. Not super high damage. But it seems good. Uh, we'll take Rhino skin, I guess, because we've got that lower HP. And yeah, it does seem like two is our maximum armor, so maybe it's thrown, but that allows us to gain more. And... Oh god, I took a lot of damage then. Maybe as well, uh, there's a crown. Oh god. The voice of getting hurt as this character is a bit, uh, a bit sus. Yeah, this weapon is, uh, not ideal. We're gonna want some better golden weapons fairly shortly, I'd say. Toxic throw. Ooh, toxic throw seems dangerous as all hell. I'm definitely gonna kill myself with this pretty soon. Bounced a lot. Um... Let's go with the fists, I think. I know that right now we're not getting benefit from it, but later we will. If you hit with all three of the swipes, it does do a very good amount of damage, but it's not the best melee weapon. But then again, it's a starting melee weapon. It's never meant to be the best. It was never built to be the best. I think I did get hit there. Get out, get out here. I was having trouble with that guy then. Nice. I love the charge up weapons for doing that sort of stuff. Yeah. God damn the shark, man. I can't. I just. I cannot ever go that path. <laughs> like, I just died to that shark thing every goddamn time. I need, like, a better golden weapon before I go down there, because that, that, like, the regular enemies are pretty darn easy, and the boss is just, like, absurd. Boss is just so goddamn strong. Anyways, we'll try and see if, yeah, we get a throne, but maybe that'll hopefully increase our armor max. I'm pretty sure there's a, um, there's a crown that increases your armor max as well. There's a few ways for us to go about it. Blood pistol, maybe? I'll take that. Also, the other day, I, I well, I say the other day, it was actually last night. I was, um, yeah, we'll take the fists again. Uh, I was just going through YouTube looking for, like, Nuclear Throne videos to watch, because I enjoy, like, watching videos about the games I'm creating for sometimes. Um, and yeah, I was watching, um, some Nuclear Throne videos, and I found out that Chubby Emu was, like, a massive Nuclear Throne YouTuber when he originally started his channel, and, um,. He, uh, he did a, he did some videos on the, like, early versions of Ultramod, and I watched some of them, and they're really good. And for those of you that don't know what the hell I'm talking about, there's this guy on YouTube that's been very popular over the last, like, four or five years making these medical videos where, essentially, he, um, takes, like, something that happened, like, someone drank 20 monsters in a day, and he goes through, like, medically what happened to their body and, like, how it affected them, 
Um, and they're really, really popular. Like, he's got like 6 million subscribers now, and each video gets a couple of million views. And that's all I've ever known he has, and I've watched his videos before, and my girlfriend watches them on a pretty regular basis. And then, yeah, I'm just like scrolling through new Clover Home videos, and I'm like, what chubby emu? And I see his face, and I'm like, what the hell kind of pivot of a channel was that? This guy went from making Nuclear Throne videos of just like regular, like normal gameplay, and then modded Nuclear Throne to like making like super, super in-depth medical videos. It's just bizarre. Like absolutely bizarre. I was uh, kind of baffled by it, to be honest. But it's pretty cool though. I mean, more, more power to him, but like it just, yeah, it's just, I don't think I've ever seen a channel pivot harder than I th than that. Also, this arm is pretty good. It seems to just block one full instance of damage. Ooh. The lance is definitely better than our starting weapon. Got that reach to it. Definitely gonna take long arms. Ah, oh, bugger. It sent us down here. It's okay. As soon as we see the car, we're off. Yeah, I'm not dealing with you. We're off. Bugger you. <laughs> um, rhino skin. I'm using the wrong goddamn weapon. I'm like, why is this? Why is this hitting so fast? Yeah, wrong weapon, doofus. I can also use obviously my um, thingy there as well. I think it was kill 16 enemies in one of those. So I want to be doing that in the labs, really. I think that's the only place I could realistically achieve that. Golden yo-yo gun's pretty good here. Good. Level 6 is lovely here as well. Okay. Lovely stuff. Through we go. Um, we do get our um, bouncy fat if you have ammo. That's actually pretty good for what we've got going on right now, so I might take that, because we're using melee and we don't need ammo, so it'll be using ammo that I'm not using. Just give me all those damn rads. Ah, that was so stupid of me. I lost my arm before I could use it. Wow, that was a very quick kill. Holy damn, super splinter gun. Still don't have the ability to grab that yet. Don't blow up a car on top of myself, that would be mighty foolish. There's a lot of cars around today. God damn. A lot of cars. Yes, we want to make sure we keep our armor here. This isn't perfect, really. Nah, that didn't work. Okay, it's going to be tricky to get that 16 enemies in one odd. This would have been the best place to do it. Oh, well, it is what it is. We'll get it eventually. I'm loving this thing, though. This, this little spiky thing. Such a good starting weapon, if you can get it gold. But even just with regularly, it's very good. Look at the range on this thing. It's like half the screen's distance with long arms. It's amazing. Um, we'll take tough shell here. It seems to do pretty good damage to bosses too. So I'm hoping this kills in a reasonable amount of time here. See how long it takes. I don't know how much health this guy actually has. There you go, we got him. Through we go once again, baby. I'm interested to see what the ultra is of this. Maybe the ultra enables the ability to gain more armor. Yeah, I bet one of the ultras will be max armor up by two, gain plus one armor per floor. That's that's what I'm gu almost guaranteeing one of the ultras is going to be. Either that or that's what the throne butt will be.
Okay, we're starting to have this fall off a little bit now. Gatling Bazooka I don't think is the safest thing for us. I just like to get rid of this cursed goddamn screwdriver that I'm having such a hard time getting rid of right now. This thing's good, but it's, it's taking its sweet time to kill certain things. Mainly the bigger boys of these areas. Even the dogs are taking two hits. Love Bomber. Don't know what the Love Bomber's all about. Plasma Shotgun, though? Bit risky Plasma Shotgun, I think. The ammo consumption on that seems pretty high. Not take too many unnecessary risks. Okay. Good stuff. We are through. Right, areas like this are where I'm a little more wary of everything. Got you very easily. Taking it nice and slowly here. Best slash only way forward is to take it slow. I'm looking for where my um, weapon chest is. I think it's up above. Oh no, it's here. Laser Crash. Isn't Laser Crash kind of bad? Yeah, Laser Crash isn't very good. Very, um, It's very inaccurate. It's probably quite good with Eagle Eyes, but with the setup we've got, it's not going to do much for us. Wow, you got some good hits on me there, I guess. Good, sir. And there's, oh, there's still quite a few of them up here. Goddamn. Yes, the Lance has fallen off quite heavily here. At least we get some HP back. What's left up here? See, that's the throwing bolt we needed to go through. If I knew that was there earlier... Let me see if I can get through it. I don't think I can, though. Just a sheep? Bring sheep home. Okay. That was a bad idea. Okay. Increase max armor by one. First armor strike each area is free. Okay, that's insane. The first one being free each stage is real nice. Okay. Cool. This seems better at least for now. God damn, that's so cool. Ballista. I don't know, I might die here. I've run out of ammo because of this thing. How are you not dead yet? Please die. Please die. How are you not dead yet? There you go. My god, that took a while. We ran out of all of our ammo, but it saved our life, so I'll accept it. Holy damn. We still have no ammo. And we have a goddamn screwdriver. It's gonna be a rough time for us. Trying to mind my own business. Waiting until we've got a lot of enemies in one place. I don't have the ammo to go through there. Dude, ammo situation is so dire right now. Wave gun. We finally have something else. We finally have something else. You didn't die to that? Wow. Color me surprised. God damn, these big boys do not, do not let up easy, do they? Ah, oh, we're fucked here. We're so fucked. Yeah, we're all out of ammo. You can get into minus ammo with those. Okay. 
Right, so... Things are a bit tricky. Good, good. We'll take the blood rifle as well. Yeah, basically I don't want to use my ability until I have thrown, but I'll be honest, the armor is so much more valuable. The armor being, giving us a free hit is lovely. Dude, how are you getting away from me right now? Get back over here. I ran out of ammo there. Took ammo for the wrong thing there. Okay, at least we're through here now. See, there you go. Throw and butts just insanely good here. One second. Goddamn scammers calling me. Goddamn scammers. It's goddamn. It's so stupid. Like, they just, like, don't even make any real effort to get away with it either. It's so stupid. Oh, dude, this thing does not do a lot of damage. Okay, we got through it there. Uh, but yeah, they're just like, oh, um, we're ringing from 3 Network about your mobile deal. And um, it's like, oh, we're just reviewing your contract. And it looks like you can uh, get an upgrade. And it's like, if you're reviewing my contract, why do you need to know my name? You should already know my name if you're reviewing my contract. Why are you asking me for my name? <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> like, goddamn. Right, good stuff here. Kind of wish I'd have saved this for this weapon now, to be honest. My bad. Okay. Good stuff. Got a lot of level ups there. Um, Recycled gland seems pretty good right now. Mixed with maybe rabbit paw. Good stuff. Keep pushing through. I don't know when I want to use my snake boy. Don't know when to use my snake boy. Probably wait until there's a slightly bigger group of enemies, really. That'll do. There's, there's, there's very few enemies left on this stage, so why not at this point? You get one for free. Might as well. That was close. I kind of walked right into that guy before realizing I hadn't killed him. Do the snake things destroy walls as well? I can't remember. I think they do, don't they? Beautiful stuff. You can't get past the car. Ha ha ha. And you guys are not stealing my ammo. Thank you very much. Yeah, it does destroy walls. So we can use it for wall destroying purposes as well. Hand cannon. Eh, probably stick better off with this, to be honest. Get that money back. I right, just use our next one of the boss here. Wherever he resides. Get away trying to steal my goddamn ammo. Every time they're on my ass. Oh, what? <laughs> it didn't even remotely go the way that I aimed it. I kind of thought it would head towards where I was aiming. Not just towards the nearest enemy. Yo yo does good job against that guy. Thank you muchly. And then you little fella. Got him. Cool. I love the way the yo yo discs are gold as well. It's pretty cool. Um let's take a lucky shot as well here. Right, again, this is the area where we can make our uh, 16 and 1 if we get lucky. We very much need the right area to do it. Oh my god. For some reason, I just wasn't expecting an explosive enemy there at all. Yeah, it's just... I think I'm going to have to do it on loop, maybe. Flame director shotgun seems good for the next area. Especially with that going on. Let's 
spiral slash shotgun seems good too. Oh, I'm so stupid. Never, ever, ever stand in the middle. What was I thinking? That was so dumb. Shotgun will take some ammo for that bad boy. Really? You're gonna lie all the way over here? Although you guys, you guys might give me level two. So yeah, I, I accept traveling the distance for you giving me a level two. Um, let's take Eagle Eyes here for the shotgun to make it a little bit better. Eagle Eyes plus shotgun shoulders seems like it's gonna be like a really good combination now with a buff to shotgun shoulders. Lost our armor, that's fine. If I could stop being hit like a gimp, that'd be nice. Cool. Right. There's only one armor per stage, remember. Yeah. Easily making our way through level 3 here as well. This is really good with um, Eagle Eyes 2. I need to have a look as well, um, not like I'm going to change series or anything, but I've, I've not really had a look at what the modding scene's doing outside of Ultra Mod in Nuclear Throne. I bet there's some cool stuff. Lovely. Oh, there's a health chest under here. Didn't expect that. Um, okay. Let's take an open mind here. I don't take an open mind enough. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, killing these guys with very little resistance. It's nice that I can kill two with one burst as well with the shotgun. Not always going to line up that way, but when I can do it, saving me a bit of ammo. Be level four as well here. The club. Nah, club isn't amazing. Grenade revolver, that's exactly the sort of thing I was looking for. Because now that we have open mind, we should get two golden chests. Pizza time, let's go. Yeah, get, get, being able to get two golden chests here is really nice. There's shotgun shoulders, lovely. Right, make sure I get everything I can here. Don't kill that turtle yet, please. Grab that. It's annoying to get stuck with a golden screwdriver, but guaranteed way to get a screwdriver is nice. Remember, we're going to the water area now, so we need to be very sort of cautious about where our car is and getting there quickly. I could end up dying here if I'm not careful. I don't see our car. Did I, did I blow it up by accident? Where the hell is it? It's right there. <laughs> It's hiding from me. Um, let's take that for now. Oh, dude, get out of here. Dude, oh my god! Stop shooting! <laughs> sake, I was trying my best to fucking play it cool there to get to the chests and unlock more golden weapons. And I just couldn't do it. <laughs> just couldn't do it. <laughs> it was super frustrating. Oh my god, I was like, okay, one more shotgun burst, this guy will die. Nope, he takes one more. One more and he'll be dead. Nope, he takes another. One more and he'll be dead. Nope, and another. How come I keep getting hit so much as this goddamn character? I realise I have armour. It doesn't mean I have to use it. Not a requirement just because I have it. R really? There's one enemy back here? Why you gotta be like that? Why, 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 why? I like that setup we had previously as well. I'm annoyed it's gone. Um, they're taking long arms right off the bat with this character seems like maybe a good idea. Oh my lord. Okay. That is an insane distance to that strike. Okay, Long Arms is very good as this character. The starting weapon benefits a lot. Oh, 
Right, take out you. Gotta remember the lower starting health doesn't help things either. Um, go with impact wrists with the setup. With a melee and stuff, I think impact wrists is going to be pretty spicy. And indeed it is. It's very nice. Really, you got me there? But yeah, I think going for the bee skins is just not really a great tactic right now. Um, I do want extra fire rate on this bad boy, so yes. I'm just going to make a gap through here. <laughs> Can't be asked walking around. Dude, this thing, with like a, a few damage buffs, this thing could be amazing. Not with the fire there. So, okay, I can deal, I can deal. Oh, what the? This is the thing that I'm getting confused about. This thing seems to absolutely dominate sometimes. And other times it's like, eh, I could do more damage, but I'm just not going to. Lol. I'd just rather not, apparently. Good old Ion Bomb. Are you guys- Like, like that, I one-shot that one, and others are taking forever to die. It's confusing. <laughs> Must be like a specific way of doing it. Um, Should we grab a crown here? We could do, yeah. Um, weapon drops give one armor. Instead, increase max armor by one. There you go. That's what I'm looking at. That's what I was thinking of. So I think if we get, if we get one more throne, but, uh, sorry, one more floor without losing armor, we'll be at four armor. Four might be the max, but I'm sure there's an ultra that increases it past this. I'm sure there is. Be very surprised if not. There you go. Good stuff on that. Director Eraser. Yes, please. Oh, that's very satisfying to look at. Yeah, last little fella down here. Splinter pistol, I'm fine, thanks. Where? Increase max armor by one. First armor strike is free. What, why have I only suddenly got three armor then? Did I get hit last floor? I'm not going to use my strike this floor. And just see. I knew that was there. Right, right, let's see if we get up to four army here. Technically, we should. No, we don't. So it must be that you have to get an ultra then. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Right, the gold disc there. Bounce a plasma gun. Oh my god. I kind of love that. That's amazing. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Um, Puffy Cheeks is maybe good with this... Yeah, okay. Being able to charge up those and have multiple stacked up like that. Oh, dude. When I knock back their discs, they turn gold. Oh my god, this is getting really chaotic right now. Wow, that was getting a bit too chaotic, yeah. 
Bouncer and Herming. Go with Bouncer on this. See if that improves it. Yeah, I've got to get my Ultra here and see how that works. Hello, fella. Just knock everything he fires back at him. Hope for death. Hope for glory. Give me them reds. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that the crown plus th throne butt does not stack. Or at least seemingly doesn't stack. Boss man's going to be kind of hard in this area. Big bat guy. Ah, oh, goddammit. Oh, we got an inverted. Ooh. That could be risky. Um, what we go for here? I don't really take hypersomnia very much. Oh, dude, this area looks awesome. That scare the hell out of me. The explode and stuff. I don't even know what the inverted boss is going to be like here. Cool. At least the webbing doesn't slow you down in this area. I'm not quite sure why, but I'm happy for it. Oh, dude, that guy won't die. God damn. Probably should have saved that for the boss, but what's done is done. So, actually using a normal weapon here is a terrible idea. Oh my fucking life. I, I can't. Ugh. I think the webbing forces you to move. It stops you from stopping. Wait, no? Or is it just slippy? I, I can't tell. I'm so confused. things have 160 health? Why? <laughs> I'll use this thing for now because knock that away. Excuse me. God, this thing's amazing, though. Didn't kill you, how? Oh, goddamn, I keep missing the goddamn rad canisters. Um, go for that. The leecher. Don't know what the leecher does. It's a lot higher level than that, though, so let's try it out. Might be really good. Might be naff. Right. Let's see how this goes. Okay, it seems very good. It heals me, too. Seems to cost a lot of ammo. Nice. Okay. Um. Gamma guts, maybe? Just as a just in case. Okay, now I can't afford to use that anymore. Damn it! <laughs> the lower health is screwing. I need to take through um 
rhino skin as soon as I can. One second. Alright, let's continue on. We did start with a golden screwdriver though, so we can try and uh, take it down to the golden city. The YV place. My god. Right, let's try and take this guy out. Don't dive at me. Easy. Still think throwing butts worth taking with this character. Getting plus one max armor is nice. Being able to use one of those for free is arguably a lot better. I didn't actually mean to come down here. So we're going to have to be careful about the boss. Very careful about the boss indeed. Um, guess I'll take Gamma Guts in case he jumps me. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, so next stage we want to go straight for the car if we can. Um, I'm going to take Hammerhead here. So where's the car so far? I don't see anything yet. Of course you spawned right there, Gimp Boy. I think I just killed him. Wow. I don't know where the car is. Did it spawn? Did I get unlucky? Did I destroy it by accident? There's a half decent chance any of those are possible. Damn it. Did I destroy it? Fuck me. I think I did. Heck. Right. Uh, impact wrists. Always good stuff. Damn it. I don't want to be down here. This thing fires pretty slow. And it's also not great. <laughs> eh, it's not bad. It's just not doing as much damage as I would have hoped for how slow it's firing. Need my Rhino skin, baby. Need more maximum HP. Right. Oh, we got an inverted. It's kind of spooky. It's kind of spooky. We no longer need this uh, golden screwdriver, so... For the earliest convenience, we try and get rid of that. Ow. Oh my god. I don't know what's going on with me in this character, but I just can't not take damage. And wrecked constantly. Grenade launcher? A level what? Have you seen what stage I'm on, game? Don't come out with a grenade launcher. I mean, it's good damage, but I'm going to kill myself with it if I'm not careful. Okay, reload speed is very good for this thing, because we need something that we need to fire a bit faster. Um Go with this, maybe. Okay, wasn't expecting that, but I'll accept it. You just killed yourself, my guy. That was fine by me. Another lance? Lance is showing up a lot right now. Yeah, that fire rate is a boost is nice. It's not a ton, but it's noticeable. Oh god, I'm so fucked here, aren't I? I don't even know how much health this guy has. Somehow still not dead. Boy! <laughs> Anyways, I think we'll leave this episode here. I, I'm, I'm not sure what to think of Viking. I think the armor is interesting, but it's not as useful as I would have hoped. Um, I feel like there's very, very little reason to use her second ability with it costing armor. 
because the armor is just more valuable than the damage, I'd say. But then again, I suppose if you're killing stuff, it's kind of a weird value proposition. I'm not sure how I feel about this character. It's a bit iffy. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.